Yeah, that's it. Works with that phone. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna edit that too, okay? <laughs> All right, so here's a poem. While we're talking about pot, let me do this poem for my grandmother, okay? <laughs> All right, Grandma, here we go. Forgive me. Here we go. So here's your poem. High up in a clear blue sky, I rise, soaring in symphonies, gliding upon an orchestra of freedom. Now, as I fly, I take a deep breath and taste the sun laughing in lemon drops, while clouds smile soft candy cotton upon my face. And this moment becomes the sweetest memory I've ever known. Wings don't fail me now. Heaven howls a rhapsody that beckons the air beneath these wings to be at my command forever. Strong, bold breezes cool the aches of my feathers, ruffling them with melodies, killing them softly with wind songs, guiding me back home where I belong. Somehow, I have to find my way to tomorrow. You see, my destiny is waiting for me there, hiding in between whispers, waiting in between drum beats, caressing my soul with the sound of silence. And as I spread these wings, I'll cut like black thunder, slicing the sky, committing felonies against the wind, and set the night on fire. You see, nothing will stop my flight, because I will. I plan on flying forever. So wings don't fail me now. I'm almost Home. Love you, Grandma. Grandma's poem. That's my Disney G poem. There it is right there. Down my system. So we got two more poems and I'll go, I'll go step down, y'all. Yeah. Again, um, reading all the poems that are in my book, uh, Crying in Colors, is available on Amazon, it's available on Barnes and Nobles. Uh, you can Google any, you know, Google the book and it'll come up. Any. It's a great title of the book, I love it. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Somebody get security. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so I also host a radio show every Sunday night. It's called Spit, Spoken Word and Poetry in Texas. Um, looking to have features of poets and spoken word artists. And what I try to do is, like with the last poem, and with the villain on the trio I like to try and show that poetry is different from the spoken word. Okay? It's a difference. It's, it's, it, the discipline is different, writing is different, um, you know, it's, it's, it's something that we should, all spoken word artists need to have a foundation in writing poetry, and all poets need to at least try to write one spoken word poem where they don't, where they just color outside all the lines of a coloring book, you know what I'm saying, don't worry about it, just paint the whole page black and color, and of course poetry is, you know, Sky is blue, tree, the trunk is brown, leaves are green, grass is green, all that stuff. But we want to sometimes come together and, and they mix and, and form this beautiful hybrid form of uh, performance poetry. So, and I know Carlos and his that lady right there, the one right there, that lady right there, are both beautiful art, artists who uh, deliver that type of collusion, I mean, uh, fusion of word, uh, poetry and spoken word. So, here's my uh, real poem, first one. It's called. Uh, called Bastard. Uh, I've uh, performed it, a long, I haven't performed it in a long time. Um, it's a Mother's Day poem. You said I was born a bastard. That's what you told me, Mama. Dark moon of your nightmare, half and half but not whole of a sum from a story retold over and over again from the center of my soul. I was just three minutes removed from being torn from the uterus of then back when the sun turned its back and shadows cried. And even though just a seed, I could still feel you bleed from daddy's dirty deed, but he was the bastard, mama, not me. I remember swimming inside you as you lay near death. And when you were well enough to feel my movement, your anger and resentment rumbled like thunder. And I wondered how much longer I had to be before you got rid of me. And even though an unwanted fetus, I knew who I was, Mama. Your son, the unchosen one. But in the oven of that moment, I felt you conceive my existence, no longer resisting the urge to murder the unborn metaphor and leave me lying in a pool of aborted promises. And that day, today I learned to escape danger by dodging coat hangers, jabbing with the anger of the desperate stranger you'd become. That day I felt you scraping and screaming and you squatted to be free of me and you almost did, Mama, but I hung on, clinging to your womb like a dangling participle, clutching a poem yet written. I survived, Mama. I survived to prove that statistics just don't fit and I ain't nobody's damn misfit and I can still hear you screaming, boy, you ain't gonna be spit. But I am. 
And I will no longer be a pawn for food stamps or income tax because I am more than that. I am more. I am more than just sperm, jettisoned from the tomb of my father's already left affections. I am more than that. I am more. And I wish you to love me like I loved you. I wish you loved me like I loved you. I loved you, mama. Still, you said I was born a bastard. But this poem is for all those times you beat me for looking like him. And this line is a tie that binds me to the umbilical of those moments where you made me feel like a weed without roots at the foot of an empty family tree. There was no one there, just me. But I am not like my father, mama. I am living proof that flowers can bloom from the sea. I am not like my father, mama. Because one percent of you inside me is the reason why I believe in we a long way from belt buckles and criticism. And I just want you to know all the love I ever knew grew to create me from you. And I'm going to take all this power and all this rage leave my heart and soul in a word space stage for you because I am not a bastard mama. I'm a man and I made it. And one day my metaphors will open up heaven's doors and leave tear prints across the sky. And that day, that glorious, wonderful day, you and I will soar. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. Whoa. Okay. Oh. And my last poem.